In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to customize a purchase order in QuickBooks. Customizing your purchase orders can streamline your process and help you keep better track of your transactions. And I'll guide you through each step to achieve that effortlessly. Let's begin by making sure you're all set to sign in. To start, head over to your QuickBooks account. If you aren't already signed in, you'll find the sign in button prominently displayed, so go ahead and click on sign in. Once you've done that, look for the option that says QuickBooks Online and select it. You'll need to enter your credentials at this point, type in your username and password and then click continue. Being logged into your account lets us make the necessary customizations directly within QuickBooks. Now that you're logged in, let's navigate to the area where we can start making customizations. You'll want to head over to the custom fields section. You can find it by clicking on the new link. This takes you to the necessary page where all the magic happens. Next, click on Purchase Order. It's vital to ensure that you're in the right section because this is where you'll be adding and managing the details of your purchase orders. Once you're on the Purchase Order page, look towards the top right corner of the screen. You should see a gear icon there. Click on it. This icon leads you to various settings and customization options available within QuickBooks. From the list of options, you'll want to choose Manage Custom Fields. Selecting this will allow you to create fields that are tailored specifically to your purchase orders, making them work best for your business operations. To create a new custom field, find the option that says Add Custom Field and click it. Once you do that, you'll be prompted to enter a name for your custom field. Think about what information is most essential for you to capture when dealing with purchase orders. This will guide you in naming your field. After naming your custom field, there's a checkbox labeled purchase order that you'll want to check. This ensures that your newly created custom field will apply specifically to purchase orders, not any other type of record. Lastly, once you've double checked your entry and confirmed that everything looks correct, hit the save button. Saving your changes finalizes the customization you've just created and it will now be part of your purchase order template going forward. And that's it. You've successfully customized a purchase order in QuickBooks. With these custom fields, you'll have greater flexibility and control over your purchase order details, which can significantly enhance your business's efficiency and record keeping. Thanks for tuning in and remember to check out our other videos for more QuickBooks tips and tricks.